Each of 74 students in a class studies at least one of the three subjects, H, E, and P. So straight away, no. That is a Venn diagram question. So H, E, P. So H, E, P. 74 in a class. All of them study at least one of the three. This is the remaining zero. 10 students study all three subjects. Lovely. I can just put this in here. Well, 20 studied H and E, but not P. That means here. Every student who studies P also studies H or E or both. So every student who studies P, should it be here or here or here? There's no standalone P. This goes to zero. The number of students studying H equals that studying E, then the number of students studying H is wonderful. So. Think about this, if you have A here and B here, C here and D here, A plus B is equal to C plus D. You can add everything up and we can have an A plus B plus C plus D number. And so that is a that is the possibility. A plus B is equal to C plus D. Now right, think about this, A plus B plus C plus D. A plus B plus C plus D plus 30 equals 74. Well, this part is 0, this is 0. Or A plus B plus C plus D is 74 minus 30, which is 44. A plus B is equal to C plus D. Right? A plus B plus C plus D is 44. This part equal to this part. And we are told these two are equal. Outside is 0, number of people studying H is equal to number of people studying E. These are common, that means people who miss out A plus B should be equal to C plus D. These two are common, so people who study H but not E should be equal to people who study E but not H, which is why we have this equation. Or A plus B is 44 by 2, which is 22. The number of students studying H equals that studying E, then the number of students studying H, A plus B is 22. So 22 plus 10, 32 plus 20, 52. 30 here, 22 here, adding up to 52. In this question, we can even eliminate P in the last step. Let's say H and E have a total of 74. H union E is 74. H intersection E is 30. H equal to E and then simplify and solve that.